What's up everybody, we back with another video and today we're gonna be looking at the Streetball All-Star Facebook page. Let's get to it. All right, so first up, we're gonna be talking about this post right here. So let's read it. Character and skin pricing adjustment announcement as of um, July 22nd, 2022 by the Streetball All-Star team. Dear player, regardless of the increase in cost related to development and operation accumulated in recent years, they're saying regardless of how much more it costs to develop a game these days, Streetball All-Star plans to adjust the prices of some characters and skins by July 31st, 2022 with the following specific adjustments. So first one, all character prices will be divided into four prices. The specific list is as follows. 1999 gems and 149 rubies. You will be able to get White, Yui, Amy, Greta, Lightning, Daisuke, Julian, Susan, Ben, Ayumi, Katayusha, Pinky, Kiang, Howie, Mary, Big O, Ranger, and May. All these people are going to cost 2,000 gems now and only 149 rubies. Now, if someone likes to spend money on this game, they will definitely be more tempted to spend 149 rubies because that's 15 bucks. And back then, Howie was closer to the 6,000 area, man, when it came down to uh, gems and close to 600 rubies. No one wanted to spend 60 bucks for a character, so that is a beautiful change. All right, so for 2,999 gems and 199 rubies, you will be able to get Fire King, Rocket, Camille, Justin, Nana, Friedman, Emma, Uncle Kevin, and Nico. Those are all really good characters, bro. That's where they're going to cost a little bit more than the last set of people. So uh, 39.99 gems and 299 rubies. You'll be able to get Marcus, Nikolai, Victor, and Natalie. Those are also some top, top tier characters. So that's where they're going to cost that much. And for 49.99 gems and 399 rubies, you will be able to get Vanessa, David, and Albert. I believe those were the last three people that were released. I'm not sure, man. Don't quote me on that. So uh, the rest is just skin related stuff. So we're not going to read that, man. Let's continue to scroll. All right, so next up, we're gonna be reading this post right here. So, uh, dear player, August season card content adjustment as follows. The price of Elite Pass goes down. Players have to update to the latest version to purchase the pass with the new price. Uh, we adjust the rewards of the season pass. Players are able to get the season closed set with a free pass instead of the Elite Pass. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like the second one right here, it is extremely important, man, because with um, every pass that comes inside the season pass, it is gonna be a four piece set or a five piece set, which means you will be able to collect a four piece set and get the maximum strengthening bonus from having a set on. That's beautiful, man. Uh, three, the levels of season pass are reduced from 35 to 20, and you can, get, you can only get 100 badges per day. Players are able to reach the maximum level within seven days. So make sure y'all keep that in mind, man. You will only be able to get 100 badges per day. I'm pretty sure they mean 100 badges per day from playing matches because you can get a bunch of um, badges from doing your, uh, what is it called? The task, the daily task section. You know what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it'll be harder to max it out, but it's going to be less tiers. And the rewards you're getting from these tiers have increased significantly. If you have not seen it already, make sure y'all check that out if y'all watch this video. So uh, we removed the season, season clothes set from the Elite Bundle. The gift of 100 rubies and 300 badges remain unchanged. Uh, five, for more information, please check the in-game season pass in August. So it's August right now, man. So that update is definitely live. Now, we're just going to look at this last thing right here because I'm pretty sure we covered everything before this. So we've updated version 1.4.36 for iOS and Android. In order to ensure that your subsequent games are not affected, players who have not yet updated are requested to update as soon as possible. So uh, content details, added clothes quality, clothes suit stats, and clothes optional functions. Added the function of gems to purchase items when the items are insufficient. That means in instead of having to spend rubies to buy the resources that you're missing for an upgrade, you can now use gems instead. The cost of creating a club has been adjusted from 100 rubies to 1,000 gems, which means more people will be able to create a club inside this game. Four, for daily sign-in events, the rule is adjusted from 30 days to 7 days, and the sign-in progress will be set at 12 o'clock every Monday. Adjustment of items required for character strengthenment, that means they just altered the strengthen section when you're upgrading your character. And six, adjust the reward items of some functions, including chests, daily active missions, daily sign-in, club missions, and etc. Now, this number six right here is extremely important, bro, because I have been paying attention when I opened my chest recently, and I ended up getting 86 energy gel. 
out of a mysterious chest, bro. It was crazy. I didn't expect it to happen. And then I opened up another chest. I think it was a green chest. I ended up getting 1,500 gold. So what they mean by that is there is a possibility for you to strike a big win when it comes down to opening up these chests. So, um, yeah, man, that should just about cover everything. So, uh, genocide, I know you say you haven't played in weeks, man, but hopefully this little information right here will convince you to get back on the game. They are no longer a greedy company, man. They are starting to cater to their community. That's it. Now, catch y'all on the next one.